everyone, it's Pamela Spence, medical herbalist here. Um, I'm just hopping on. The weather has taken a turn for the worse here and where we've had lovely sunshine for the last, gosh, it feels like several weeks actually. We've now got grey skies and rain and I have to say that the, um, the gardens really are needing it and all the medicinal plants in my um, herb garden are lapping it up and loving it. Um, I've just finished doing a couple of days straight of clinic and I've taught um, a workshop this afternoon and um, I wanted to hop on to say that one of the things that keeps coming up is that people are finding that their sleep is very disturbed at, the, at this point. Um, and I wanted to say that that's uh, completely understandable. Um, so we are still in lockdown when I am uh, recording this and um, and sleep is being disturbed in a couple of ways for people. So some people are finding that they're very, very tired and that they're sleeping a lot more than usual and that they have a lot less energy than usual. And other people conversely are finding that um, they are very, uh, they've got disturbed sleep, they're not getting into deep sleep, they're waking, they're dreaming a lot. And anyone who's done any training with me will know that this is going to be due to our different constitutional makeups. Our different constitutional types will be responding in different ways. But suffice to say that um, sleep is one of the key things that's being affected just now. So I've been reading a lot about um, psychologists' take on this. Some are saying that the, the extra sleep is a, almost like a trauma response, really, that we're having collectively. So we're trying to um, process all the things that are going on right now and how different it is. And I would say that even if you don't experience um, stress as anxiety, we are all under increased stress at the moment um, because change and new things and new ways are stressful and lots of people are worried about the future as well. So um, what I would say is if you are needing to sleep more than usual, um, as far as you can, let your body do it because it's processing on a deep level um, and that will likely be a coping mechanism and it will likely be quite um, helpful and healing to your body to do that. If you're finding that you're not getting good quality of sleep, then there are several things you can do. One would be cut out the caffeine. So um, as we're at home now, a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm drinking more coffee than I ever do at work. Well, you know, some of us can take it, some of us can't. So if you're finding your sleep is disturbed, that would definitely be one thing to do. So you could go decaf. But another thing you could do is um, you could actually make your herbal teas, or, sorry, you could make your hot beverages work for you. And a way to do that would be by um, picking herbal teas instead, ones that are calming. And particularly getting into a routine of drinking something calming at night. So there are lots of those available in the supermarket and there are blends pre-made for you. Look out for even simple chamomile would help. It contains a chemical called apigenin that um, uh, attaches to receptors in your brain that reduces anxiety and actually starts to improve sleep. So, um, or, um, so initiate sleep, I should say. Um, so look, chamomile on its own will be fine or lots of companies you know, have got their own blends. And as you know, I'm the Twinings herbalist. So um, I am the person who advises them on the blends and theirs. And we certainly have one called sleep. And I should say that I don't get any um, financial recompense from you going out there and buying it. That's work that I do for them separately. Um, but there are other blends as well that you could try. So make your herbal beverages, make your hot beverage time work for you. Reduce your caffeine. Try not to do the sugar feast or famine. So, you know, big bursts of sugar giving you lots of energy and crashing afterwards. Certainly try to stay away from sugar um, after uh, you've had your dinner. And that should help as well. And there are plenty of um, online courses at the moment around um, helping you to be calm. So mindfulness things, lots of yoga classes going online. The clinic, my husband and I run um, The Carrot Clinic. So at The Carrot Clinic, if you look there, we have our hypnotherapist, Michael Malone, has put up a couple of lovely um, meditations. Um, and also our yoga teacher Penny Bond is offering free online yoga classes during lockdown. So obviously distance is no object at this point. You are able to um, join in with those as well. So also a note just to say that um, it is very... Um, oh, there's a small child in the background. Hello, small child. 
um, to say that um, it is very, um, it's very normal. Life is abnormal right now. And what that means is that, um, you know, sleep and things like that are being disturbed. So you're not alone. Um, there are things that you can do to help it. And um, I hope that that's been useful to you. Um, and please, if you want any advice um, or have any questions for me, um, just post in the comments below. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe to my channel um, and go over to my Facebook page at Pamela Spence Herbalist and follow me there. Thank you so much. You're going to wave goodbye. <laughs>